What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth and Janae from Janae Plans and Project Ellsworth. We are at Arby's, so I can try this damn spicy Diablo chicken sandwich. I've seen a few people eat these things and are saying it's pretty hot. I guess it's time I'm gonna find out for myself. This is this week's mukbang for my Mustang. So loud. It's all right. It's not all right. It's gotta my, be loud. My ears don't like it. I gotta make sure you can hear me. And the people in the store can hear you. Hope everybody out there is doing well and staying safe. And this thing looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> Oh my god. So this thing is ghost pepper cheese, ghost pepper sauce, I believe, diced jalapenos. Diablo barbecue sauce, a Diablo bun. All right, so you tell them what I'm eating. Good. And there was something else that was spicy around. And remember. it looks like it's going to be really hot. And they give you a free snack size vanilla milkshake with it. So. My expectations are that this is going to be pretty damn hot. I watched Dame Drops eat one of these things a couple weeks ago, or last week. I watched Dame Drops eat one, doesn't matter when it was, and uh, he said it was pretty hot. And he's been at this a hell of a lot longer than I have, so I'm going to take his word for it. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Did you take out your, okay, you forgot Martin, you know mine. It's always, uh-oh, no uh-oh. And for a, so for a snack. I got jalapeno peppers. As if this wasn't hot enough, I'm going to try them too. I've had those before, so I'm not really trying. It looks like it's going to be very messy. Here we go. Sorry. Who's sorry for? Crumbling paper. Let's just stop doing it. Don't be sorry. I hope that burns. You want a bite of this? No, I hope that burns crap out of your mouth. Where's that spicy looking stuff? There it is. All right, so I'm biting there first. Here we go. Why am I nervous? Wow. It also has jalapenos on it. Did you say that? Well, as of now, it's not that bad. You. It would have made them up. Yeah, to me, it's not that bad. There is definitely some spice going on in there. If you don't really care for spicy food, I would not eat this. I got the Greek gyro. Gyro. Whatever. G Y R O. Say gyro. Gyro. This is not that bad. It's actually quite good. It's got a bit of a burn to it. There's the inside of the bun. It's got a bit of a burn to it, but it's nothing crazy. The barbecue sauce is actually really, really nice. I wouldn't mind having a bottle of that. I'd eat that all the time on basically everything. The chicken is almost sort of a side note. You really don't get a lot of the chicken because of all of the spice that's on this thing, but it is really, really good. Wow. And messy. Yeah, that's not. Don't believe the hype. We look at me that it's not crazy hot. <clears throat> to me, I like spicy food. To me, this is not that bad. But which you, means it would burn my mouth off. You kind of, kind of assume that a fast food joint is not going to put something on their menu that's going to blow their customers out of their cars. I don't think that that would be very wise. I got some, I have this shit all over my pants. Oh, well, that's what we have a washing machine for. Good it's laundry day. Stop. I do my laundry every Monday and Friday. So that works out well. Today's Monday. 
I don't know when this video will go up, but it won't be today. <laughs> Whatever. Put the thing stuff on it. So, now I want to try the brisket Diablo. I think that's the exact same thing with just with brisket instead of chicken. Yes. Wow. I'm looking forward to having my vanilla shake though. I haven't had one of them from here ever. I don't know though. I mean, I, I don't think in my life I've ever had one vanilla shake from one place that was better than the other place. They all taste the same to me. You? I don't know that I've gotten vanilla shakes from really anywhere. You never had a vanilla milkshake? Well, I've had one. Have you had them from more than one place? Probably not. So you've only had one vanilla milkshake in your life from this exact same I've never place. had vanilla milkshake from a fast food place. I'm sitting here saying this is not that hot. My eyes are watering. I really don't think it's that hot. This might melt your tongue off of your head, out of your mouth, but it's not that bad. It's got a really, really nice burn for me. Is that what you're getting, Michael? Or is he just getting a regular brisket? He's getting that French dip thing. You should have tried that. What's wrong with the, what you have? It's okay. Yeah, you're not saying anything. Tell us what your food's like. There used to be a Greek restaurant in Ocean City that I used to get whatever this is called. Call it Euro. Say Euro. Um, and I really liked it. This is this is okay. To, you refuse to cooperate. Say Euro. Euro. This is okay, but what I remember it being like it's not as good as that so um, but I mean it's definitely okay like it's not bad so we're gonna put that on the our Arby's commercial <laughs> well you know I go not, to Arby's there <laughs> there's not a whole lot of things that I would say is absolutely great anywhere unless it's Chick-fil-A and their lemonade Chick-fil-A lemonade that that's yes that that's the only awesome. thing that's great yes i just put this barbecue sauce in my in my <laughs> eye oh that's hot so our commercial for chick-fil-a will be their diablo chicken sandwich is got a nice burn a don't put it in your eye arby's wherever the hell we are and as far as their euros go it's okay that's their that's what we're gonna go with That's good. I don't care much for the tomatoes today, but. That don't even look like something I would want to eat. Well, I really like the sauce that they What is the sauce that's in there? What is that? Is that yogurt? What is that? It's a weird word. It's a weird word sauce. Yeah. Add that to the commercial. Although it might have yogurt in it. I mention that. I want to say that I thought Euros had some sort of yogurt sauce or yogurt based sauce in it. Like Zaki sauce or something like that. <clears throat> this is very good. I would definitely get this again. If I wanted a gyro, Euro, I would probably get this again. I don't know. Teslas are weird looking to me. What? There's oh. a Tesla. They're very plain. Mm -hmm. A white Tesla just drove by here. It looked like a pill on wheels. It's like heart medicine. Yeah, the body style of those cars are not anything all that impressive. They're not flashy. 
they look like they're designed or engineered more for function than fashion, which is fine. Like work boots. Messy. I would be very, if I was a car maker, I would be very make, nervous to make a car that drove itself because what if something malfunctioned and the car crashed? You know you're getting sued. I just don't see, how lazy do we need to be as a society? Well, what if you're drunk? Although, if no, you're no, drunk, I take you it back. Take it back. No, 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 I take it back. You can't do that. You have to be in the car, and I think your hand has to be on the wheel. I think you actually said something that I was getting ready to say something about. I think that it's extremely irresponsible to do something like that, which would allow a drug person mm. Mm. to get behind the wheel of a car, and then who's 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 responsible? They weren't driving; the car was driving. You know what I mean? It, who, what's going on? You do have to have your hand on the steering wheel, or it won't work. What do you mean? If a car drives itself, you do not have to have your hands on the steering wheel. What do you the mean? The car will not drive itself if you do not have your hand on the steering wheel. I watched somebody on YouTube, Rally Roots, Ryan Roots, driving his car with his hands on his thighs. And if you put, have to put your hands on your steering wheel, then you're driving the car. The car's not driving itself. What are you talking about? I'm well, just positive that's what um, somebody said because they like did something to make their hands stay on there so they could fall asleep. Uh, excuse me. I've heard something about that before too. So then if you have to have your hands on the steering wheel to drive the car, then why are they referring to it as the car driving itself? A self-driving car. Because if you're driving- well, I think it's in case it, something does go wrong, they can, no, it's not all trash, my boots on there. Um, you can take over control. Look at this, I don't know. Look at this ridiculousness. That's right. Arby's is leading the league in straw. Paper straw. How far are we into this whole paper straw thing? We about a month? Has it been a month? Longer, longer than a month. Is it really? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty much tired of this shit already. Different places have already switch over to paper. This tastes weird. Maybe it's the Diablo sauce. It almost feels like it's full of bubbles. So it's not so much the taste as much as it is the texture. This is a ridiculous looking straw coming out of this friggin' cup. Do you have scissors on you? This is asinine. Who cares? By the time it gets through the straw, it's not cold anymore. Stupid. This is dumb. People be ashamed of themselves. I should just take this home and dump it in a bowl and eat it with a spoon. Are you... Your head's not in the shot. You're... You can drink this from across the car. Look at how dumb this is. Look at how dumb this is. Look. Take a sip of this. Take a this. <laughs> all right, all right. Take a sip of that. Uh -uh. Let me put it on you. I don't want to. You literally can't just suck on the straw. It's too damn long. You have to suck on this like you're trying to siphon gas out of a pinto. I almost said something very off color there, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> off color. How old am I? All right, I'm done with that experiment. Screw that thing. I want the Bronco Berry sauce to try these jalapeno peppers. Yeah. Did you 
Janae brings sriracha sauce from Chick-fil-A with her when we go to Arby's because she likes that more than Bronco Berry sauce. I understand. Yeah, this whole paper straw thing is really freaking annoying. And if you have to have paper straws, can you at least have straws that match the size of your drink? Because now that thing, I can't, that's like undrinkable. I'm not going to be able to drink that. When you go back around to get Michael's food, ask if they have a smaller straw. No. Well, then quit bitching. Don't cuss over my channel and then laugh about it. You take bites of them? Yeah. Just stick the whole damn thing in your mouth. Like a savage. No. Like a savage. To put the whole thing in your mouth and then take a hit of that milkshake. Look at you. Oh. Did you just take the second bite of that thing? Janae. This is not a three bite thing. Mine was bigger than that. That's what she said. He said. No, never mind. Oh, know. man. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad, the Bronco Berry sauce. I'm not crazy about it. See, now they give you the same size straw for a large Coke as they do for that little tiny snack size milkshake. The reason I figured out that I like this was because we had gotten... Didn't they forget to give us sauce one mm -hmm. day or something? And we were at home. Was that the day I ate every slider that Arby's offers? No, we were at home. Oh. Because I wouldn't have been able to get the, no, I thought maybe sauce. I had it in my console. No, we were at home. And we had gotten food from Courthouse. Holy crap, that's hot. That's why I'm biting them. You got man up. Take the hit. No. I'm not going to do a whole lot of anything today. I don't think it's too late in the day. These jalapenos are spicy today. And see, I don't think the jalapenos are spicy either. I just think that the the, in, the contents of that pepper is like molten lava hot. I wanted to do a reaction video today. Now I just feel like watching movies. Maybe I'll go home and see if Jack wants to watch a movie with me. So, Halloween kills extended cut. Why do you make the face at me? Poor dog. That dog has spent more time with me since we've had him than anybody else in my family has. So, what, what about that dog? What do you mean poor dog? He likes me. You subject him to things that he probably doesn't like. So he just sleeps. I didn't even want that damn dog. Now I got a four pound sidekick that follows me everywhere. I'm sitting on the couch today, drinking my coffee, watching Good Morning Football. The dog lays on my chest, he's just about to sleep, then he jumps up and literally licks the back of my teeth. Ew. Yeah, it's exactly right, ooh. It's absolutely, why am I eating your french fries? You Did you eat any of these fries? Mm -hmm. Well, one. No. Today, look. Now they're cold. There's no salt. I finally got some new shoes that I like. What is that for? Take it. Where'd you put your sauce? I threw it in there. 
Now you want me to try this? What is this? Sriracha what? Sweet and spicy sriracha. Is it spicy? No. It's sweet. Taste buds are really like. It's good. It was that was good. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with my taste buds? Uh, stuff doesn't spicy stuff doesn't get you. I I would say normal like everyday spicy stuff doesn't get me, but I'm sure that like that pocky one chip challenge thing, I won't. I'm not even willing to try anything like that. The dude from we watched the movie, Mike, told me that uh, when he did that. He was lying naked on his bathroom floor, sweating to, to death, trying not to get sick, and he had diarrhea all night. Mmm, that sounds like a good time. See, now, the, the thing about something like that is the word challenge is in it. But there's no reward. If there's money on the line, or there's some sort of a, a reward for that, there's that there's something but just to do it to prove that you can eat something hot does not make that worth my while <clears throat> i could probably mow the lawn for six hours straight too but you don't see the six hour mow the lawn challenge anywhere there's no payoff for that what are you looking did you drop food in my car yeah. So hold on, you got a straw, a spoon, and I'm sitting here trying to eat that mile-long straw? Eat it. I have a fork for my mac and cheese. I don't think you can get a spoon for your... I want a spoon for my milkshake. Well, then ask for a spoon when you get Michael's food. No. Then quit complaining. How am I supposed to drive and eat a milkshake with a spoon? Why the hell did you even order french fries? You're not in. You're not saying anything. I'm stirring my mac and cheese. Oh. You can't think and stir mac and cheese at the same time? <laughs> Doesn't seem very hot either. That's what you get. They put all the heat in the jalapeno pepper. They heated that up first in the microwave. They were hotter than the fries when I first got them. The fries weren't very hot when we got them. These fries are not hot. That sandwich was great. How, what's the final word on your gyro? That's good. So what exactly was that thing? You, don't, you can't just say, I want a gyro, right? Then there's something to it? Greek hero. Heat that up. What? I'm gonna have to heat that up. No, I think it's gonna be a very oh, uneventful. Cool. What? I forgot I was wearing glasses. I've never worn glasses in any of your videos. You haven't looked at yourself the entire 24 minutes that this has been running? Just a quick glance. That guy is a cowboy. Hmm. It was difficult to do my makeup this morning. Why is that? Because I'm nearsighted. So why is that making... You're nearsighted every day. And my contacts in every day, so I can see. Whereas I'm nearsighted, without my contacts, I have to like be like real close to something to see it. I see you with your glasses on all the time. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Oh, Usually, okay. the only time I wear my glasses is at night, after I take my contacts out on my way to go to bed. Every once in a while. I'll leave it on in the morning when I get up because I didn't put my contacts in. 
I but for the most part, I always have my contacts out. I tried to go to the post office today and I realized it was Martin Luther the King Day. When did we go to Kentucky? October? October 22nd we went to Kentucky. Why? Because I got these like right before we left. Because I wanted to have them um, for driving. I just picked up a new pair of readers yesterday. So these are prescription. Okay. Readers are not a prescription. There are glasses that you can buy in the store for five bucks. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? They were 12 bucks. <laughs> you got ripped off. They sell them at Dollar Tree. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I'm messing with you. You know I don't like that. You know, you can dish it out, but you can't take it. For your problems. Yeah. I'm bored. What? I'm bored. So what? If you're not talking, then you're bored. Is that how that works? Mm -hmm. I want you to talk the whole damn time, but it's usually just me talking. Usually I can't get words in edgewise because you're talking. So I had to go to three Wawas on Friday, Sunday, and Monday before I got cappuccino. Although today we didn't actually go, physically go, but I did call. So the third Wawa that I found had it. You don't have to, get to my do cappuccino. You don't mm -hmm. have to do nothing. You just get a damn curry. They don't make this particular one. The other ones have too much cocoa in it and they're too chocolatey and I don't like cocoa them. Cocoa beware. Coco beware. I don't know what that is. I know you don't. That's why I said it to you. Well, then it's not funny. <laughs> it's very funny. It's not funny. <laughs> You're a fucking nutcase. What's the matter with you today? <laughs> not a nutcase. I'd like a good screen pass. <laughs> Still not funny. <laughs> and poor people watch it are like, what the, what the heck is he talking about screen pass? We were watching a football game last night. Was it Romo that said it? Sorry, I like said it. it. But didn't he say something about the screen pass and that's why you said no. it? No. It wasn't even during that game. Right. She's sitting there playing her whatever the shit is she plays on her phone. We're not saying a word to each other. And I just calmly turned and looked at her. It's you guys aren't gonna think this is funny either. I looked at her and just very calmly said, "I'd like a good screen pass." And then proceeded to sit there laughing for like the next ten minutes. Well, the reason I thought it was funny is because I tried to put myself in your place <laughs> when you're sitting there just trying to play your damn game. You're just trying to be alone, peace, peace, nice and peaceful playing your game. And you got your friggin' caffeine hopped up goofball husband sitting next to you. <laughs> Tell you how much you like screen basses. What's gotta run through your mind when you hear that stupid shit that comes out of my mouth? I just ignore you and go back to what I was doing. Oh my god. Yeah, typically you just shake your head and you blow me off and that's that. Marriage is bliss. Oh, God. I'm down to the bottom of these fries and I don't even want to start eating them. Uh-huh. What now? Nothing. You eat the rest of the goddamn what, fries. What's the sound you always make when people eat when oh, you're eating? You wow. Know, wow. Joe Damaris sent me a text message the other day said that every time he takes a bite of a cheeseburger now that's what he hears. Wow. You should record yourself doing it and then use that sound effect. No. Okay. I laughed out loud when I found that sound effect in my software. 
I was like, I gotta shoehorn that in wherever I can put it. All right. I didn't want any of that. What? You wanna grab your garbage trash thing? Of course. I do that on purpose now. You should have never told me you hated it when I looked at my fingers after I was done eating something salty. It's so sad that you feel the need. I would have sat here and licked everything off do my hand. That because you know it, 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 it grossed me out. See, this is what's wrong. No, that's this is what's wrong. You're like, how can I gross out my wife? How can I um, get make annoy my wife? How can I? These are the things that seem to go through your mind. For those, those of you, for like the three of you that have made it through this entire video, any man or woman out there that's married, let me know if I'm the only one, and I guarantee you that I'm not, that does things on purpose very specifically to drive somebody crazy, especially your spouse, specifically your spouse. I guarantee you. Any guy who's married that's still watching this now does shit like suck his fingers just because it drives people, drives the spouse crazy. But usually they're doing it because they were trying to piss off their Oh, spouse. I'm not trying to piss you off. I know it drives you nuts. I don't think you're going to get mad at me because I like the salt that's on my fingers. And the bottom line is I don't do it solely because I like the salt. I like the salt. I love the salt. Okay. It tastes better on my fingers than it does if I just take a pinch of salt out of the, like the, the container. It tastes better. It's got the human hand element to it. Yep, it does. Uh, Gross. That's when, you, when you're a little boy, they say you're supposed to eat like, I think it's like 11 pounds of dirt. <laughs> my um, papa always said you eat more dirt before you're dead. You're, you're going to eat more what? You'll, like if you drop something and I'm like, oh, should I eat it? And he's like, oh, you'll eat more dirt before you're dead. Go ahead. Everything that we put in our mouths is gross. All right, I don't want to go there. Our lunch to today there. was walking around on a field going, bark, 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 bark. Stop. A little while ago. Stop. Stop. Stop that too. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you really like this video, and I, I'm assuming that you don't, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button, ring that bell. You're weird. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Don't worry about yourself. <laughs> this is awesome.